Okay, disregard how I look. I just got done with a workout, so I look a little crusty. Anyways, I recently posted this photo on my Instagram story saying that I finally figured out the best way to bring my natural curly hair out. And because of that, I got a lot of questions asking how I did that from some girls who also have natural curly hair but just didn't know the best way to bring out their natural texture. So in this video, since I finally figured it out, I am going to show you guys exactly how I did that. It all starts by washing your hair first, so I do need to take a shower. I personally don't think the products matter except for you need to have a mousse. That's the only thing. I don't think it matters what kind of mousse you have. I don't think it matters what kind of shampoo and conditioner you use. So I'm just gonna wash my hair. These are the ones that I use currently. Um, they're both from Monet. It's the Renew Shampoo and the Super Nourish Oil Cream Conditioner. I also have their leave-in conditioner. You want your hair to be super moisturized, so if you don't have a leave-in conditioner, um, just try to leave in your normal conditioner just so that your hair is nice and smooth when you come out of the shower. So I'm gonna go wash my hair real quick and I will be back to show you what's next. Okay, this I didn't mention, but when I rinse my conditioner out in the shower, I put my head upside down. And now I'm just gonna take a mousse, which I just use this 24 hour body amplifying mousse. It's Tresemme. I squirt some of this in my hand just like <laughs> that much and then my hair is dripping I don't know if you can see that my hair is dripping it's not sopping wet it's not dry but it's dripping now I'm just gonna scrunch the mousse into my hair you hear that dripping I want it to drip a little now you don't want to squeeze too much all right <laughs> I look crazy now I'm just gonna roll my head uh, uh. So I could sit up. Okay. <laughs> it looks crazy, I know. Now I'm just putting a towel over my shoulders so that my shirt doesn't get soaking wet. Now I'm gonna take this claw clip. I'm gonna section my hair starting from the base and then I just clip this up so it looks like this. Now I'm gonna section this in half, just gently splitting it up. And now I'm gonna do it in half again. I have a Denman styling brush and this might be the key part, I have no idea. But I really feel like you could use a wide tooth comb or something. Cause what it does is it just like splits your hair into little parts so that um, they can like scrunch easily. So I don't know. I would say use a wide tooth comb if you don't have a Denman brush. But I do have a Denman brush. So I'm just going to take this section. And a lot of that flipping your head is what creates volume. So that's what I'm trying not to break here. I'm just going to brush my hair through. And I kind of hold it here. Shake it a little. It starts to curl at the bottom. And then I literally do this for every little section. Take that much mousse. And then I just... Went. Literally scrunch it into each individual section. Okay, with the Denman brush, you just brush through, curl the end, shake it, add a little mousse, just a little bit. Scrunch it in there. Now I have just this little section on top. I'm going to split it directly down the middle because that's how we're going to style it. Um, but I also want to have a left part there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm sectioning out that middle part. Sorry, it looks a little silly. Now I'm just going to take this section over here and uh, do exactly what I've been doing to all the other parts. And you don't want to squeeze the mousse too much because then it'll make your hair frizzy. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth right there. So I'm going to let it be. Now I'm bringing this middle section back over here, clipping it lightly so I don't destroy anything. Now I don't know about you, but a lot of my natural curls curl towards my face. I don't know why, but... Okay, now I'm going to do that middle section, but I'm going to do it to the left. I just wanted it to be separate from this section, if that's where I actually want to part it.
So now, I'm gonna flip my head upside down again. And how you do it is you roll your head. You don't wanna like flip it like I said. I'm gonna take this little towel off now. So my head is upside down again. Now I'm gonna take mousse and put it on all my head at once. But don't do it. Don't scrunch for too long. At this step, I just like to go straight in with my diffuser. So this is a diffuser. It's just a hair dryer with this little finger claw thing attachment to it. Now with my head still upside down. <laughs> Sorry, this is really silly. Now I'm gonna put it on high heat and I put it on low airflow, air, whatever, on low. Okay, now I'm just gonna blow around my head. I'm not touching my hair at all. I'm just blowing around it. I do that for like five or 10 minutes to start that cast forming. You want it to start getting a little crunchy. I'm literally sweating, so it's a bit physically demanding, I guess you could say. It takes a lot of work to make it look good. Now, once you do that, it's time to start pixie diffusing. It's currently 1121 and I'm going to pixie diffuse my hair until it's dry. Your hair dryer is off and you take a small section. I kind of like shake my hair into the diffuser, put it against your head and then turn it on. It's always on low. You hold it there for like 20 seconds. Okay, and then you turn it off before you take it down. So this is how you minimize frizz and how you get your hair to really keep that nice tight curl. And that's what you do for the next 20 to 30 minutes, however long it takes for your hair to dry. So, sorry it's a little dark, the light. It's flickering. It's been 20 minutes and my hair looks like this. It's still a little damp, so it's not completely dry yet. I can feel it with my hands that it's pretty dry. It's starting to get that cast on it. Now I'm just gonna dry my roots. So if your hair looks like mine and you can tell it still looks wet. Don't stop and don't play with your hair yet, okay? You gotta keep going till it feels almost completely dry. So I'm gonna go for another probably 10 minutes. I will be back. Alrighty, my hair looks so short, but it's whatever. Now what I'm gonna do is my hair is still parted down the middle. I'm gonna flip my head over and then just, even like going like this, like I can feel that my scalp is dry. If you don't feel that, if you feel that it's still wet, then you need to keep drying. Otherwise, I don't know, it's not gonna work, right? So I feel that it's dry, so I'm gonna flip my head upside down. Okay, now I'm just gonna shake my roots out. Okay. Now I have a little bit of volume, but my hair is still Crunchy. Now I'm gonna take my hair and like flip that section over where I parted it. Ta-da! And now you can either just take your hands or you can take like an oil if you want. Here's where the magic happens. Actually, I think I want to do my makeup before I do this. Now I'm ready and it's time to break the cast. Okay, as you can see my hair looks wet, but I promise you it's not. It's just kind of crunchy and that is the cast. Now we're gonna break it. Here we go. Okay, all you do is you just take your hands, scrunch your hair, and kind of pulse it. And you do this all over your head until it doesn't have that super wet look anymore. But I'm just gonna shake them out a little bit. And that is my natural curl. When I posted that picture that day I had done my hair, I did shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner. I had a hair mask that I did in the shower. And then out of the shower, I put in this like split-end mender and then this blowout cream and then the mousse. 
But that's why today I wanted to try it without all the extra stuff. I just use shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and then mousse. To show you that it's not the product, it's simply the process of how to do it. I feel like I honestly got better results this time than I did the first time just because I kind of took more time with it and I focused on my part. I think it really helped to do a middle part with the side part. It just lays out a little better that way. But that's why I believe in the process of pixie diffusing and make sure your hair is completely dry until you start to break your cast and get all that like crunchiness out. I hope you guys learned something and can take something from this video. I hope it works out for you. If it does, please send me pictures or tag me in a post, anything like that. I would love to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.